anything could be included. And Seattle Friday morning. It is the Wild West, and that is one reason we're having these, this health crisis. Governor Inslee, alongside public health officials. Vaping, like smoking, is not safe. It never has been, and it never will be. Announced an executive order. We are not waiting for the big tobacco industry to tell us what is in their products. We won't trust them with our health. We won't trust them with our children's health. It changes how Washington state agencies will regulate and track the vaping industry, especially flavored products. This comes one day after Oregon announced its second death linked to vaping. As the trend continues, I think we are going to see increased number of cases and tragically more deaths. Health officials say the person died after being hospitalized for respiratory sickness, and they had vaped cannabis from a legal dispensary. We don't know the short or long term safety of these products, but we know they're not safe. Of the hundreds in the outbreak, the CDC found most people with vaping related illnesses used THC in their vapes. A smaller fraction reported just using nicotine. People hospitalized say their symptoms got progressively worse. They had trouble breathing, shortness of breath, chest pain, were vomiting, had diarrhea, or felt fatigued. The CDC suspects the illness is caused by a chemical exposure, but a specific chemical, product, or brand isn't clear right now. Until they can get to the bottom of this, the CDC and FDA are encouraging everyone to stop vaping. And if you don't already, don't think about starting. Today, two Portland metro area legislators joined the call to ban the sale of vape products. Representatives Rachel Prusak and Janelle Bynum plan to work with another legislator to create a bill stopping the sale of e-cigarettes and vaping products both online and in stores, very similar to what we hear Governor Brown is looking into as well.